This is Steph and Liam, and we're at the Florida Aquarium today. I can't quite get this beautiful stingray in the picture with me, but we're here and we're gonna have a great time. Yeah. Okay, this is early in the morning, but we are beside the Port of Tampa, and there's this beautiful cruise liner over here getting ready to set sail. And we're in the parking lot just north of the aquarium. Uh, the signs were a little confusing and it's under construction down here, but uh, just seeing this whole area has really made this trip worth it. So Liam, what do you think about seeing your first cruise ship? Well, it kind of makes me think that like, it's like Mario going into new worlds because um, like, there's lots in each row of like places is like each level and and it's like there's goombas in one and yeah and it looks like it could hold like one million in two fish also we're in tampa yeah <laughs> so you heard it here first we need a mario cruise ship people okay so here's how you pay for parking at the aquarium uh, pro tip is to take a picture of your license plate before you leave the car so you don't have to go all the way back over to it. And then it's just really simple. You just follow the instructions on the machine and pay for your parking and parking lasts all day. And it was really easy. Awesome. No. All right. So story time. We love cool stuff about turtles. And then if you want a picture, you can take one. That'll be awesome. Yeah, so we'll have the clock over on the stage. Over there. On the stage? Perfect. This is Steph and Liam. With Resort TV One. Today we're at the Florida Aquarium in Tampa, and it's just the two of us out having a good time, and we thought you might want to come along. So we're finally inside the Florida Aquarium, and we're super excited about our day. Liam wanted to check out the shop before it gets too crowded, so we're going to start here and give you a little tour. So Liam wanted to show you what he thinks is interesting in the shop, so we're going to follow along. We've got seals and sharks. Manatee. And a manatee. We've Ooh, got tons of stuffed friends over here. And some duffel bags. And a beautiful snuggly body pillow no, shark. Over here, over here. Over here, over here. Wow. Oh, and we found the octopus. Octopi. Alligators. We're having so much fun here in the store. We thought we'd start in here first before it gets super crowded. Guys. Nope. Oh, we found the red eyed tree frog. No, there's lots of them. There's lots of them. Come on, Liam. It's so okay. Cute. So we've got some merch over here, and then we've got some fun shark books and books about the ocean, and some uh, looks like lights over there. It's gonna be super fun. There's some more fun things. We've got some fingerprinting, some Dr. Seuss, some pow pow fish, which we love pow pow fish, some Curious George, and more. Just to give you an idea of what they have in here. Okay, we've got some puzzles and games and origami and some fun oh, things to do. Okay. Yep. And here's what Liam thinks is fun. Come around here. Um, the toys, we got a shark tooth digging kit, and some binoculars, some more things that Liam thinks is super cool, and some more merch, some t-shirts, and some cups, um, sustainable cups, and more friends, and even some cute baby things over here. And we found our toy for the day. This is a transforming shark, so no need yeah, to look any further. This is Liam's pick of the day. They even have books for grown-ups too. Look at this. Look at all these fun reads. That looks so fun. So here we are right inside the door. Liam is bouncing, so I'm trying not to hold his hand and not lose him. <laughs> but this is what it looks like in the big, beautiful atrium. We're out to have a really fun day. And um, this over here is a map, but then all throughout the museum, in order to not have paper maps, they have these QR codes. So 
so you can just take a picture of it with your phone and know where you are. Here we are at the top of the big beautiful atrium and we're getting ready to go into the wetlands area and here we go. Here we learn about our fresh water here in Florida. Most people think of Florida for oceans, but we do have plenty of fresh water here. See this? What do we got? It's, it's something making the sand go up. Oh, yep, we got a percolating something in there. And some big fish saying hello. Hi, fish. And then down over here into the wetlands trail. So here we are, going into the wetlands trail here. I don't have a gimbal today because I don't think Josh wanted me to drop it in the water. <laughs> We're going to have a good time anyway. So if it's a little bouncy, I'm sorry. I will promise I will learn how to use a gimbal before we do too many. We have a very active turtle swimming towards Liam or away from Liam. I think these are soft-shelled turtles. And they've got some lovely greens and peanuts in there for them to eat. Here come a few ducks up to say hello. This is a ruddy duck. And I assume these are too because they're still on the sign. Must be feather painting time. Here are some wood ducks. Where? I can't. Oh. Oh, okay. I see them. Yes, you can see now. So. Um, they have a different marking than the ready duck. Okay, you can see the glass is just high enough that Liam can this see a good bad. bit of it. This is bad but the ambiance in this room is this really is Oh, <laughs> he says it is a bit steamy in here, and of course it is because it's the tropics weather. But it is a beautiful space. We found the alligator seeking some privacy with his back to us and his. I don't think you can see it in the in the window, but there are his eyeballs. There's more. Hang on. There we go. Eyeball. Hey, we finally found the river otters. These guys are my favorite. This guy over here is doing flips. I think it's saying hi to Ashley. Oh, there he is. He's coming up to say hello. He's so cute. Here comes the other one. And they've got some, uh, looks like rope in there to play with. They're very active today. How fun. Okay. We're looking for some mangrove turtles. And yes, we have some catfish here and we're not gonna stick our hands in the water. Okay, we're looking for a turtle, Liam. Um, well, this is their habitat. I do see a little stingray over there. Right. Where's it? There. Is the little stingray. Some more habitats for birds over here. And this just feels like a perfect muggy Florida day in here. With beautiful horticulture as well. Got some pretty fish. I see two things. See? Yeah. An orange thingy. The orange thingy is. Probably a striped carpet. No, not Possibly. that. Over there, that no? orange thing. Yeah, See? I don't know what that is. And we found the reptiles. I guess there's more reptiles in here, but oh, he's moving. This is an albino rat snake, along with other snakes. This is probably not my favorite section, but oh. Uh, I see, I spy with my little eye another snake in there. Do you see it? Oh, here we go. They're baby gators and habitat. We've got several over here and a few more. And uh, we've got one uh, sunning himself right there. You can see him. And we've got a few under the water. This one looks like he's swimming upside down. His little mouth is fun. Look at that. So here we're coming into the shoreline's habitat. I'm not sure if this means brackish water or if this is still some type of fresh water. What a beautiful, peaceful room. Look at this. Some beautiful
beautiful large fish over here. And I don't know if they're snakes or black drum uh, or groupers, but this is our large, large fish area. Barracudas, Liam says. No, Barracuda, real Barracuda. Oh. Uh, no, down here. Yeah, I see him. Did that fish scare you? No, that. Okay, well, he's looking right at you. What are you going to tell him? Yeah. That sounds about right. Found some fun. No, looks fun. like mollusks. Let's see if we can find the sign over here. I see a fishy. Yeah. Yeah. So this gives a little bit more explanation about the shorelines. Um, transportation, food, homes, industry. All sorts of things that we need to protect here. Mm, this is porkfish and giant grunt. Uh, the yellow ones are juvenile porkfish, but I don't see the ones on the picture. It is getting a little dark in here to show you too much, but um, all different types of varieties and some information about them. It's so peaceful and quiet and temperature controlled in here. If they had benches in here, I could sit in here all day. <laughs> it would be perfectly peaceful. Can you see it? So here we're looking for a clinging crab. My guess is it's camouflaged, and I My see... My guess is it's buried or nope, hiding. I see him. He's Wait. right here, where the, in that corner right there. You can see his little claws coming out a little bit. We found an eel. And we've got some other fun fish over here. And this is more of the spotted mushroom. Let's see if we can find a spiny lobster. Oh, I found the lobster. Can you see? Oh boy, you sure did. They are a little scary. Yep. I agree. Not a huge fan. Unless you're talking about eating them with butter. We also have an animal care center here where they can feature animal care and how they take care of um, all sorts of things uh, with, with Tampa General Hospital. Okay, we've made our way to Stingray Beach where I'm sure they have presentations and uh, I don't want you touching them, but they might have food or something later, I'm not sure, but uh, sure is fun to watch them float around. Here we have a really fun installation with some type of, uh, I'm gonna call them buoys and that's just really fun to look at lots of bright colors and there is a reminder that the floor is slippery here um with the stingrays so you are around water creatures so just be careful so here we have a beautiful aquatic lounge um it has some really fun asmr music styles with some really fun ocean facts and uh it's just like a really nice break time on the second floor and they can tell you all about the oceans over the decades and this is just a really great place to sit and enjoy some aquatic atmosphere. Here we have a beautiful sea glass installation with some beautiful art along with the ocean creatures. It's just stunning. Let's sit here and look at this all day. So really enjoying this beautiful lounge quiet music and taking just a moment in our day. We've got some beautiful art over there and Liam's really enjoying the music. We've got a beautiful oh, birds. I think that's a bird display. I'll have to get closer to it in a minute. But here's what I really want to show you. Uh, we've got a hashtag create waves but look at the stunning art mural. This is where always connected to the ocean which is just lovely. I love that whole idea that we're all one and that we can uh, help our earth. So here we have the Antetra found in the streams of Brazil, Colombia, and Peru. This iridescent fish has a light blue and silvery abdomen and it is translucent for its iridescent red and blue. Does it help it? Does it have special lights? Oh, they have lights? 
No, the lights are in the thing. Should they be called water. light fish? They could be called light fish. That would be really fun, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Because they could help you. Uh, phosphate helps farmers grow food and phosphorus is essential to all life. This connects it to our fossils, even uh, the mammoth, that's what that looks like to me, and Bone Valley region and shallow seas. Uh, this is just a really cool uh, picture of what our Florida looks like. Here we get to Florida, Florida's coral reef. And we get to learn more about our, this seems like it's ocean. Um, all the different types of fish here. Liam hasn't figured out that this is all one thing yet. It's really fun. <laughs> um, and they have lovely benches where you can just sit here and enjoy the reef culture. You can just sit here. Project is on sharks this year, and look what we found a megalodon fossil. like him so that's not like so most of them and they'll start protecting their friends okay Liam says if I get close the eels will start doing Whoa. ruckus <laughs> not sure where he got that word here's a fan favorite the ever dangerous lionfish I don't like lionfish they sting everyone in their path that's right they and really they are meant to live alone should we go away from them? Oh, they're safe. Have you ever wondered why fish swim around in circles? That's to keep from being singled out as prey. Isn't that interesting? Um, oh, these are my favorite. I thought you said you had a lot of favorites. I do have a lot of favorites. I only have one. What is a fun fact about the seahorses that you know? Um, mm. So the moms give the dads um, the, in their little pouches um, a little, the babies. That's right. And then the, um, the dads um, have the babies. That's right. The dads take care of the babies. There are actually a lot of sea creatures where the dads take care of the babies. Dad. Never watch Splash and Bubbles. I love the... Uh, no, that's the ones on there. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Here's 
some really cool ones down here. Okay, let's keep going. Here we found the alligator pipefish. Alligator? This Where? one looks more like a trumpet to me. Where? <laughs> Where? You see this guy? Oh yeah, trumpet fish. Yeah, they look more like trumpet fish, but these are alligator pipefish. Here we have dwarf seahorses and sexy shrimp. Look how big these shrimp? guys are. They're super small. And let's see. Where's the shrimp? Um, there's a seahorse. Let's see if we can find the shrimp. Um, there's a baby seahorse. See? Yes, these are all baby seahorses. That and turned really into grown ups. I'm not seeing a shrimp right now. But I do see a baby seahorse. Yeah, we've and seen even tinier baby Look. These guys are super itty bitty. Yeah, this is a bubble window. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to climb on it. But sure it's fun to look at, isn't it? Uh -huh. Fish is saying hello. And I have a pet rock. Oh, the things a six year old finds. Here we've got Tango again. He's doing his sea turtle presentation. Which jelly it was. It's either Nettily or Oron. Those are our two jellies. Okay. And do they have a habitat like Rocky and Tango's Beach House? Uh, they kind of float around. <laughs> That's true. Float. They do float. Okay. Yeah, they only have one location. Uh, but when they do, they, they end up usually around there. Around. Okay. So Rocky the Penguin and Tango have a beach house here where they can do presentations and spend time with the kids. Inside, we have the beautiful chance to have some lunch. Make sure you check out the menus online and buy your tickets online before you come to plan your day. We've got this lovely seating out here as well. They've got plenty of seating. And they've got have cool stuff. They have cool stuff. Liam has discovered the uh, back entrance to the gift shop, so we will Definitely check that out. But they have a splash pad here for uh, warmer days. It's not so warm today, so. Uh, right now it's just a playground, I think, but we're headed to see the African we penguins. We have a lovely restroom and changing area outside, so you don't have to get all wet and drag it through the um, inside of the aquarium. Uh, lovely little beach house here, and here we are. So it says the penguins are not showbirds. So let's see. So here we have penguins of the world map. <clears throat> we have the African black-footed penguin, which we'll see, the see here. I see the you see what? Yes, the, oh, uh-huh. That's the king penguin. We have uh, many different penguins in Antarctica. I didn't know there were so many. I thought there were only like four or five. So these are the African penguins. They do indeed have black feet. And one of them has a, a little, see, see? Yes, the, um, we learned at SeaWorld that the things on their flippers are how they can tell them apart and it helps them know their name. Whoa, hello, hello, hello. A little play time with this guy here. Hey, don't, don't follow him. Oh, he, he is playing with you. Run back and forth with him. Yeah. He's playing with you. Nope, air. Okay. Well, we might raise them both out today. Wouldn't that be unfortunate? There you are. 
So his tag is orange, red, gray. And over here on their name board, we found that it's a ZZ. The name means precious treasure. And it's the one playing with Liam. And he's really cute. We've got all sorts of different penguins out for display. Um, I'm sure they have a lovely habitat behind here. But he's, he's looking for you. He and Liam are playing. Maybe we can wear them both out. Remember, he has uh, eyes on the side of his head. He can't, he might not be able to see in front of him like the hammerhead. Oh, here comes his other friend. Let's see what happens. Uh, there's another friend on top. That is gray, red, gray. That's Nuru. The name means lightness. He's like, oh, I don't know. Do I want to go up there? I think I do. There we go. Oh, he's going up, up. Well, that's cool that they can climb. I'm sorry about the glare behind me here. Yep, he's going all the way up. We've got Azizi down here running around with Liam. Sorry about my face. Over here. Oh, look how cute they are. He's like, hey, Liam, where'd you go? Right here. Right here. They have little holes. We've got another one. Okay. Nuru is saying, come on down. Water's fine. I'm ready to play. I'm ready to play. Liam's ready to play. So are the penguins. I'm going to try not to focus I'm going to try not to focus too much on uh, everyone else's kids, but I really wanted to show you real quick what the play area looks like and the splash pad. It is just looks like a lot of fun. So I may let Ran Liam run out his wiggles or climb out. Maybe he'll make a spider web. This is what you call the bug's eye view. This is my bug Yep, that's his bug impression. This is my bug so we've got the fly here, the ants. Set the charge. Reset the charge for your bug mobile. Is that what you said? Uh huh. Oh, it's running out of gas. So now he has to gas up the fly. What are you gassing it up with, Liam? Are you gassing it up with energon or rocket fuel? Go to um, the place where rockets take off. We're gonna go to the place where rockets take off? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I just said it. Okay. All right. You just reset it. So here we go. You gotta get the full effect here. Check out these feet. I'm pretty sure this is just the next level up from the Flintstones car. Oh goodness. I found the spider. We're gonna call it Charlotte, so it's friendly. And uh, this is way more fun than I thought it would be. <laughs> and it's full of adventure and uh, bugs. So here's more about our climbing adventure. This is the back leg of the spider. Got the ants coming from the ant over here. Without the water going, here's a look at the splash pad. It just looks like a beautiful playground. It's a virus on the central computer. We need to fix it. It, it um, controls everything in the town. And, um, uh, I need to fix it. it controls everything in the what? So, um, it learns in space. So it I learns need, in space? So I just type space. Okay. And I have to type in countdown. You have to count, type in the countdown now? What? Okay, it's 10, 2, 2, 3. 10, 2, 2, 3. Two, two, three. Okay. Four, four, three, two, two, one. Okay. I want pizza. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Now, now can we drive? <laughs> okay. We just came out and we get to walk through this beautiful, and, uh, um, swampy. I got a shark. Beautiful horticultured area. Landscaped area, I guess is the word. I I'm... got um... such a beautiful walk. Um, 
and we get to learn a little bit about uh, there's some signs up here about our freshwater area and the things that they can do to recycle water and uh, it's just really really pleasant walk Maybe they talk more about how we can help recycle our stormwater and keep our rainwater and help recycle and help it the environment. and help the environment that's Good. right so Liam and I are hanging out in the car while we're we had a charging. Shopping adventure. We did we're have a shopping show you adventure. What we have. Hang on. So we're hanging out in the car because my phone needed to charge, and so we bought a few things to keep us busy. What do you have there, Liam? Shark book. We have a Dr. Seuss discovers sharks. Um, it's fun. Board book. It is fun. We we, we read know. that. Yep. Has some fun facts about sharks. And we have a Wish for a Fish with Dr. Seuss about all the sea creatures. Dr. That's Seuss one of my favorites. And then we and have we a didn't shark. Read this one, but it's well, it's, this one's intense. It's an ultimate book of sharks. As you can tell, we're really the into sharks today because. Wait, let me read. The mm -hmm. ultimate book of sharks. That's right. Now you can. Um, now um, you can know the words in it. This is the. And then ultimate book of sharks. That's right. The ultimate book of sharks. That's right. And um, this is a, a Nat Geo book, and it's going to go in to support our research. And uh, what else do you got beside you there? Yeah, well, this. Yes. So we needed some sh more sharks for well, our water bin. Turn, one turn it around and show it to me. Well, I know the so, stripey one. Yes. Do you know which ones they are? Let me show you this one first. Lemon oh, shark. yes. The lemon shark. I like shark. the great mm -hmm. white shark. Great yep. white. Yeah. And then, all right. So then we also uh, got an aquarium ATM or e EMT rover so that we can help our animals in our sea bin. Wait. And let me, okay, this one is of our favorites. And this lights up. Show Boom. them how. Well, show them how. Bang. Bang their head and then they light up. See, lights up. Super cool. And then um, we had to support the sea turtles with a fun light up and sea turtle. Up. So it this is a, up, it does light up, but it's also a nice Look, fuzzy, it's lying up. fuzzy top there. And um, okay, they do not have one time use bags. So if you go to the store, you either need to plan to carry out your purchases or okay. you have to uh, buy the bag and support the museum, which okay. I thought was awesome. So this mm -hmm. can go in your swimming pool if you have one in your neighborhood. And then, and then when you turn, um, okay, see the arrow? Well, the arrow points this way, and you, then you do it that way, and it swims in your pool. It's a pool toy. So to support our... Um, this is a transformer shark, no. and it transforms, but I won't show No, it. no, you have to show us now. You already teased it there. Okay. So, in case you can't tell, we're super into transformers and things that are not themselves. So... Yeah, they're like alien robots that mm -hmm. disguise as things, um, that they disguise as things so it doesn't look like aliens and it will and even optimus says um there um e um you cannot reveal your true self so they have to transform into something so here's one here's shark bot and let's transform him back that's right put these and then put the his feet himself. all the way down yep. and then put these up and do that he figured this all, then, all out by yeah. himself, too. Uh-huh. Um, Mom and the person um, that works there helped me open them both. Yes. We decided we were going to need so some entertainment for the car. Shark bot. Shark what, hold that bot. up again? Shark bot. No, 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 Okay. Okay. He turns and too. who is this? Whoa. Show um, it. Show it. Dolphin bot. Dolphin bot. I mean, it only says dolphin, but I decided dolphin bot. Dolphin bot. So, he stretches out, mm -hmm. 
then spread these apart. Now you have to push really hard to get the feet out because it's difficult. Then leave them like this and then do the same one to the other one and then push this like that. Then push this over like that and like that. Then push this like this and then push so it's upside his head's upside down but when you push the back his head comes out and then you push these down and now want to see how you transform him put his arms up mm -hmm. then push his head back upside down and then push this down and then push the other one down mm -hmm. and see okay and not done yet. And now, it, now all of them don't transform. If you have a question about it, it doesn't, they do, all don't transform. The, the, the shark and the dolphin are the only ones. And it's oh. my favorite type of shark, a great white. So yes. here's him in dolphin mode. So which one is your uh, favorite? The shark one. The shark and one, of course. One. I of like course. them both. That On a scale of one to ten, how cool was the aquarium? Ten. It's ten. It's ten. And so they even agree with me. They it's agree with you. Definitely a ten. Yeah. Okay, That's and cool. so uh, that would be your rating on the the shop as well. Yeah. Uh huh. And wh what's your rate? No, it was. It's a fifty out of fifty. Oh, okay. We're raising the scale. Okay, so we are out of the museum. We've had our break in the car. Liam's had a snack. And we are behind the aquarium at the USS American Victory ship. This is a decommissioned ship, and they've turned it into a museum. I'm not going to run over by a car here. And so we're going to go check this out. Look at that five inch. Isn't that beautiful? So we just thought it was worth seeing. Yes. Oh, they have it decked for Christmas. So these are cargo bays. This is where you come on and load your things. This is where they do presentations and meet together. I want you to look at these. This is all they had for types of communication. What do you think this is? This is a lifeboat. Life vests for all the sailors. And cargo hold number four. We're headed out to the muster. Go. So, I'm not sure. Uh, the muster station, I assume they gather there uh, to muster. Ooh, look at this. Can you see it, Liam? Can you turn it off? We got a little tugboat with a. I heard a ghost. No, I heard one. You heard a ghost? Okay, let me tell you how. At the floor with a giant boom. 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 Oh, you heard them working over there. This is the actual Tampa Bay uh, docks, Port of Tampa. And um, so it is a working working dock and there are cruise ships. Here we have the backside of the aquarium so you can see how close we are. But this is the muster station where they would gather for orders and meetings and things. And then we they said we have so many cargo bays and six floors you can explore. Here we've made it to the other end of the aft. We started at the bow. We've made it to the aft. Uh, we went past some uh, hospital things and a couple things that we'll try and see on the way back. Um, trying to convince Liam that there was a just reason that we would have fire hydrants on a ship. He didn't believe me because we're surrounded by water. <laughs> we just had some really fun uh, interactions with a person that worked on a ship like this. He said that the gunners were provided by the Navy and that the other soldiers uh, were provided by the Army. And so the gunners were the ones that protected the ship. Yes, here's the other way in to the Naval Armed Guard quarters that I just showed you. And we're headed back to the bow for our muster station. I've always wondered what the galley looked like in the actual uh, ship. Look how tight these cores are. There's a sink. Look how tight this is. Got another sink. Another 
Okay, wait just a minute. We've got videos all over the ship to tell us how uh, how the ship was made and all sorts of different things. And they even found another secret entrance. People are sleeping. Okay, this is the rooms. And, oh, this is a question I always wondered. Why are restrooms in ships called the head? Term come from the days of sailing ships when the place for the crew to relieve themselves and they were all the way forward on either side of the bow or the integral part of this hull to which figurehead was fastened. It's the leading part or head of the ship. So this was the chaplain quarters. Seems like they had two of them. So for every one bunk, they also had one locker. So I'm not sure. This one doesn't have a label. So we've got four bunks in here and another head. And look how tiny this shower is. Wow, that is quite a commitment. And the hospital where they have supplies and they're able to take care of uh, injured. And this is part of the ship's hospital as well. Okay, so we're going into the engine room and Mimi would not like this part, and I'm not a big fan, but I'm really curious, and my curiosity is gonna win out, possibly. But this engine room goes all the way down to the shafts at the bottom, and all the way up to the top of the ship. It is huge. And it does have a certain uh, coal burning smell, that's that uh, you can really Wait, tell. Okay, so we figured out the pulley system and their way of getting things from one deck to another is uh, they have a trap door, which really explains a lot. So here we are on the second deck. Uh, I'm assuming this is more like deck four, but uh, this is their security boat. This is their lifeboat and to be honest, it's seen a few better days, but I imagine okay, me. it's really been useful. Um, does it say do not enter or danger? Danger. Danger. And do you remember where the engine room was down below? Yeah. This is where they would know how hot it's running or if there were any incidents or whatever, and they have to check all of these gauges. Okay, this is the navigation room. For the gyro compass. Whoa. This is my favorite room, the radio room. Come on, out, out, out. Chief and assistant operator radio or radio operator. Yeah. This is their room, and I'm not quite sure how you fit two people in here, but good luck with that. But it's a boy, you thing. can't miss that beep, can you? Nothing if not tenacious. <laughs> I am nothing if not tenacious. Do you mean tenacious? Yeah. Yes, that is the truth. Aha! Liam, tell me whose room this is. Can you read that up here? Can you read this? No. No? It says third mate. Third mate, safety officer, inspections, equipment to ensure all safety and operational, and often the training officer. Now, who's this? Who's this? Junior third mate. Uh, would be the assistant to the third mate. At least he got a fan. How nice. Ah, yes. Here's what we're looking for. The captain's quarters. This is not his at sea captain. This would be his um, stateroom. Come here. How oh, beautiful. Oh, Liam, come here. I see a speeder. There he is. So we found the signal light. We're up on one of the last decks. Um, oh, Liam says there's another one. Okay, so this is where the uh, captain's room is. 
Hey, you want to drive the ship? I'm just kidding. Here we can navigate the engine speed and also control the rudders and communicate with the whole ship all at one time. And I'm sure somewhere here is a beautiful chart room. I found it. This is the chart room. I'm looking through the port window. And this is where they would plot out where they're gonna go. See? Here we found the lookouts. And boy, is it a beautiful day here. Currently it's about, I don't know, 75 degrees. And it's so fun watching this. We've got another signal light here and our top deck steerage and engine control. First mate and second mate, come aboard. Wait, first mate and second mate? The second mate's the phone and you're the first. <laughs> second mate's the phone and I get to be first mate. All right, I'll allow it. But down here we've got another life raft. And you see how far we've come up. And you can see the five inch that I pointed out in the very beginning really fun this is really fun here we have our all call radio and all of our lookout ports I see the this must be the rain deck is and what I'm thinking is it it's raining we oh you saw the captain's picture <clears throat> this must be the rain deck where if it's raining they can control the ship from in here here's more on deck five and you're a brave old soul you really want to get to the top I mean obviously you can't do this because it's a museum but Kudos to those people that have to climb those ones. If you're wondering why I haven't featured going up these stairs, I don't know if you can really see the incline very well here, but it's really hard to hold a phone and go up the steep steps or down. We've been choosing to go down them backwards. On some of my favorite shows, they managed to go down them front ways and I have no idea how they do that. Now, Liam, tell them one of the reasons why we wanted to feature this ship. Tell them what we've been learning about. I don't know, but this is your mom's favorite room. It is my favorite room. One, my dad was a communication specialist during the Vietnam and, and Korean Wars. And I love Wars. war. It's so interesting, just like the Transformers had war. <laughs> and I got Transformers today. Yes. So we're very interested in conflict and conflict resolution and trying to solve them peacefully. But... You know, in times of war, we've had a lot of military service in our family, and it's one of those very interesting things. One of the things we learned about during World War II was the Navajo code talkers that served in the war with Japan, that were able to speak in their native language and help us communicate so that the Japanese couldn't decode it. Um, two things. Okay. So, the first thing is that um, the Cybertronians, which are the Transformers that I like, lived on a purple plant called Cybertron, and their home was defeated by the evilest that wanted to take revenge, Megatron, the evilest of evil, and the goodest of good, Optimus Prime, Romus Prime, and, well, Sentinel Prime, and their home got destroyed. Then the Decepticons moved to the moon. Then. Mm -hmm. Um, then one of the primes looked for a new home, which was Sentinel Prime. We were back on Cybertron, and he once became a good guy, but then became bad. Now, um, he's not living, but it's just like war. They had war, too, on their planet. It's called Cybertron. It, can you believe living in a purple plant where everything you have is metal, even yourself? I would be worried and scared. But Cody, their leader, will help them every step. Just like their captain. But the real captain is Optimus Prime. Cody's just helping them learn. Okay. Well, now we know about... Uh... Transformers in their war. Okay, we're gonna see, we're giving ourselves a test. We're gonna see if we can find the engine room because I feel like it's on this level. Okay, 
We are headed towards the bow. Oh, this is crew only. Here we are at muster level. We're still doing our test. He's taking a chance. Okay, sunglasses off. This is the bosun quarters, which means it's the engineers. Well, hang on, Liam. <laughs> this is a cool place. Right? <laughs> oh, we found it. So we did actually find it. And I just cannot imagine climbing these stairs all the way from the top to the bottom. And each ship, of course, has to have its own engineering plant to rebuild anything if it breaks. You can dance a jig on this, but don't. Because it may make you go... Tell me what that is, Liam. What is? And why why do you think it's right outside the engine room? Hmm. Is this the fire control station? Ah! No, <laughs> it would be the, the water control to help cool off the engine if it's required. So with that fire hub and the engine on this room, doesn't it make sense that the kitchen would also be on this room? Yes. Or on this level? Yes. yes? because it probably would seem like those are the most likely places to have fire, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, having it all together with the main water hub seems like a pretty smart idea. Okay, so maybe starting over, but this is the Mestex. I was looking for it. It's right across from the galley kitchen. And okay, this is just really cool. Um, it looks like these are the dates that it, uh, sailed. This is just really, really fun. Okay, here's my favorite part, the coffee pot. We found the refrigerator and the cargo hold for the food and the prep kitchen. Okay. I just, I can't even imagine having canned drinking water, but it certainly makes a lot of sense. And Go ahead. Uh, it actually does feel really cool in here. This would be, of course, for perishables. This, isn't my favorite and the That's this is not your favorite? Okay, make me a little because. See? Yes. So here's where we found the food. So they would prep it down here and take it out of refrigeration and send it up there to the kitchen. That makes so much sense. And here we are back at the very beginning. This is just stunning. This has been so much fun. If you have a chance to come back and do this, you really, you really need to do this. No, all the way up. All the way up, all the way up. Let's just do it fast. That sounds like an up, air pump. That was awesome. <laughs> so here we are in the bow of the boat. And uh, you can see where, where we are compared to where we were before. But we made a friend 
that works on the boat. And he's gonna help us turn the front artillery. Okay. Yeah, just turn the wheel, the whole wheel, not just that. Not just the handle. Really? Yeah, these two hands. I wonder why it's Here we go. Well, watch the gun. Okay. No, no, no keep, keep, going, going, keep, going, keep, keep going, going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, keep going. You're doing it. Yeah, look, look well, up watch here. The, watch the barrel of the gun. Yes. This this long thing here is the gun. See it? Let's keep doing it. You're aiming it. Oh, no, look what he's doing. He's actually moving the entire gun. Yeah, you're... Wow. Yes. Yes. You. Okay, you get it. <laughs> I can't wait to show this. Oh. This is just stunning. You don't see it? Look at... Which way are you facing now? Well, stand up there. Stand up. Stand up on here. Stand, yes. stand on that. Now look out that way. Watch. Look at the barrel and start turning it. Turning it. Now follow the barrel. Two hands. Now go back the other way. Oh yeah. Do you know you're turning what you're standing on at the same time? What? Yes, look at, yeah, look like at, look at your feet. Keep going and watch your feet. Yeah, you're taking a little ride. You see it? Oh yeah. That is really it's like fun. hard to notice because it's going slow. Yeah, that's really See, fun. See, watch this. Watch, watch, watch. He's gonna help you. Whoa, that is fast. It is fast. And then how you know, like go like. Hey, go on the other no, side. Go on the other side. Oh, here, go over here. Go over here. And go climb up here and sit in that seat. Sit in that seat, like a bicycle. Oh, no, uh, the other way, like a That's bicycle. Like there you that. go, there you go. Put your hand here, see this? Well, where's your finger? Your finger's on the trigger. That's what shoots the gun. Wow, so this person over here, are there three watch. gunners? Watch, watch what it does, watch the barrel. Look at it over here. Okay, so you've got the navigator, you've got the, you got the, the pointer, pointer, uh huh, and then and you have a calculator. Here you go, well, you got, Oh, right thank over you. Here you have. This is where you set the fuse to shoot. Okay. The aircraft. Okay. Okay. Then you have that someone who loads it. Right. You've got okay. That someone who catches the empty casing. That <laughs> someone who passes the ammunition ammunition up. You have to have a gun captain. Wow. It takes seven people. Seven people to fire one so long range. One round, two people. Oh, one. Point. If you want to shoot it again, you got to have seven, seven people. people. Wow, that is amazing. Yes, please. So, being on the one night, what those tubes like up on that? Oh, the Okay, those the are tube. called cowls, and that's how you get air down into the space below, into the cargo holds below. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah, you have to have oxygen that's down there. Yeah. Yeah, and then now these flags here, what do these represent? They're single flags, I'm not sure what they, but each oh, okay. one indicates okay. a letter. Oh! So it's, it's, I don't know what it's spelling out because I'm not familiar with that, but that's what it is. That's so cool. Maybe okay. it spells um, the first Back in the days before you had radios, they, right? they would use There's those signal, signal flags. flags. So Let's, that another okay. signal in the squadron could tell what they want. Something. That's oh, cool. I'll I have know. to look that up. So we learned a little bit more about the ship uh, from working with our friend over there. And uh, these two long things are not ammunition. The two guns at the aft and the bow are uh, the only stable guns. But uh, these are the stay and uh, boom cargo, whole, um, cargo entrance. So like one stays on the ship and then they use a pulley system to get the cargo into this little flat under the cargo hold down under here. So these half circle things are the ventilation system to get the air down into the lower decks. Okay, aha, here we are. Naval Armed Guard Quarters. This is the room Liam's been looking for. He wanted to see it again. This is where the gunners stay. Now that we found the guns. This is where the 17 men would stay. 
Help us to keep history alive and continue to steam. If you would like to help the SS American Victory continue steaming as before, volunteer or give in any way you are able. Donations to the cause of preserving this special ship are tax deductible and greatly appreciated. So here is the three inch uh, that would be out of the one that Liam had. And then here is the five inch. It weighs 55 pounds and they're very heavy and very sturdy. It has a range of 10 miles and the three inch has a range of eight miles. And both of them were available on this ship. Yes, these boats do the same job, but that you were correct. They don't look the same, but they were made for the same purpose. You were correct. Oh, what are they for? To transport soldiers. One last look at our beautiful uh, display here. Captain Joe Gerson. And some of the beautiful women that served building the ship. So, Liam, what did you think of our ship? Let me think you might think it was. Okay. It well, was I six. loved it. Is it this was this? a six. Okay. Just kidding. It was a nine. A nine. Okay. That's a pretty good experience, I'll huh? I'll be eight. Oh, okay. We learned a little bit about World War II. We learned about the women yeah, that built the ships. Nice we man learned. helped us. That's right. And I got to do a fun. That's right, we got to do a gun, a horn, and a bell. So And I got the horn a real gun. Yeah, you can tell he hasn't had any running though for a little bit. Uh, because uh, he's got the wiggles. But so, what was your favorite? Uh, all of it. Um anyway. We're glad you saw it all. It was really fun um being with us. Um I hope you had a great time too. We'll have more adventures soon, Mateys. <laughs> um, anyway, we're about to go, so. That's right. For now. Have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. -bye.